everyone, it's me, your favorite Colombian artist, mm -hmm. Andorra. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but it took some time to find that passion for drawing again, since I got so burnt out a while back. Since I felt more angry at myself about not drawing and not having that passion, I went with some red, obviously, as you can see, <laughs> and some purple to motivate some of my creativity. I wanted this to be a bit more fun and not forced, so I made a massive red splotch, <laughs> splotch and did my best to make a face out of it. I don't know. <laughs> not a great start, but I tried. Just look at this. I mean, it has no form. <laughs> At first I was like, um, why am I doing this? But I shall not surrender. I've been doing art for so many years, having fun, but I had some moments where I just, just couldn't. Finally, after some time watching this canvas, I decided to enjoy art again. And now look at me, <laughs> I'm back. Mm. None can stop me from creating my waifus. <laughs> Once I started to see more form and expression in this drawing, adding emotion was easier. And I chose sass. Mm -hmm. One thing I would recommend, and I'm glad I came to realize this, is just let loose, you know? Sometimes it's so easy to turn your art into strictly work, be professional and perfect, but it's nice to sit back, look, and enjoy the process without having so much pressure. That was really the point of being an artist. The more I drew her, the more fun I had seeing what I was capable of. But she needed a name, something unique, something rare, and something red, of course. I kept that thought as I continued. In tasteful fashion, I wanted to add my favorite theme, fantasy romance something a little bit spicy, you know, <laughs> but not too much. I noticed that I'm still a little bit shy with my coloring, as I noticed I had a lot of work to do. It's a little bit dark, but for being away for so long, it's coming out good. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm so excited to be back, and something tells me she is too. Look how she looks at you. Mm -hmm. All mysterious. Oh, hello, you. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> okay. I'm doing this currently in Procreate. I never had so much fun before with a program. Don't get me wrong, it's complicated and it makes me angry. But I love it. I love it so much, especially as I get more comfortable. So here I wanted to maybe try some illuminations. Nope, no. <laughs> I tried here and there, but I, I don't know. I wanted to be subtle and uh, not too much. So I experimented. Even if it's maybe a little bit dark, I feel it gave this maybe intimate atmosphere, like mm, secretive. Hush, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, I have to add some hearts. You all know me. Come on. Gem heart, always, as I'm obsessed with them. I think this is the best drawing I've done in a while. I'm just so proud. Don't be afraid to be proud of your work even if it's not perfect. 
I do plan to continue improving, but sometimes it can be difficult as an artist to see it, especially after a year. Sorry about that, by the way. But I'm just so happy being in the middle of this therapy session in art and coming back to tell stories, knowing that I want to be an artist, find what I'm good at and improve. Thank you so much for being here again, seeing my drawing, and I hope you find that sparkle that changes your career. Bye-bye!